Hi, thanks for joining. It's Patty from PS Paper Crafts, and I want to show you how to make this really cute Christmas card. I'm using the Snowflake Splendor um, Designer Series paper with all the snowflakes, and then I added some of these embellishments. Um, I made this snow. I love this for packed snow. I've used it quite a bit, um, and I just embossed and tore it, and that's using the Hammered Metal 3D Embossing Folder. I used the... Um, snowman season i stamped the snowman and i punched it with the coordinating punch i hope i'm not blinding you with this and i used one of my favorite new sets and i'm so sad this is going to retire it's on the retirement list i just love it um, it's great for fall spring winter and uh, i love the little birdhouse so i'm sad to see this go but i wanted to make one last card with it so let's get started i'm using pacific point as the background that's one of the colors that coordinates with the snowflake splendor designer series paper and i'm stamping right on it so that's always a little nerve-wracking but uh we'll be okay with it so let's get our stamping done first and then we'll do the embossing um, because this stamp is so large, I'm using my stamp apparatus. So see how big it is? And I do have a big block, but it's kind of hard to manage. So I like to use this. So what I'll do is I'll put my paper down and I'll just put a magnet to hold it in place. I'm not even going to use this magnet because it's so big. And then you just put your stamp where you want it. So I want some of it hanging off, but I want it all the way down. Actually, I'm going to cover the bottom a little bit. And you just place it, and when you close the door, you press on it a little bit, and it will pick it up. And this is a great way to um, stamp something if you want to stamp it again if it didn't get dark enough. I like to put my stamp pad under here so I can press on it. So if you, you know, you have something that you wanted really dark or it just didn't stamp right, it puts it right back um, on the same area. So it's really a stamp positioning tool, the Stamparatus. So I am going to stamp this a couple of times because I am doing it on this designer series paper. So I'll stamp it down and just press it. And the first time you press it down, it kind of picks up the paper a little bit. And then as the ink gets on it, it's not so bad. So see, it's not dark enough. So, And I'm using soft suede ink. And I'll do it a few times just to get it really nice and dark. Isn't that such a pretty tree? I just love it. Let's see if we need... I think I'll do it one more time just to get it really dark. So the magnet keeps your paper in place. I always try to put it on the grid somehow, so um, just in case I can place it back where it was. And you just press down on it. And you don't have to worry about getting ink if you got ink on the side of the stamp or anything. It doesn't, it doesn't pick it up, so that's a, another plus. So there we go. It's pretty dark. It's a little darker see this is darker than this so I, I really wanted to make it dark so let's get this out of the way and we'll close up the ink pad because we don't want to get ink on anything okay and let's do our embossing so I just have a small strip it's four inches so it goes along the bottom and it's just, I don't know, a couple of inches. It doesn't really matter. But let me get my um, machine out. And we can do the embossing. So I did get my mini machine. I'll have to show you that another day um, when I have something smaller. It's really cool. So I need the embossing folder. I've got piles everywhere, of course. So this is a perfect card for me today because... I'm in New York, as many of you know, um, for the holidays, and we're getting a huge snowstorm this evening. I think it's 16 to 24 inches of snow. <laughs> so, I live in Florida, so, I mean, I'm from New York, um, so I'm used to this, but I haven't uh, really been in this kind of a snowstorm in a long time, so... I'm excited about it, but I'll want it to be gone.
pretty quickly. You know, the first snow around Christmas, it's so pretty, everything is white and peaceful, and then you want it to go. I didn't go long enough. I don't know if you could see that. I didn't go all the way through, so I'm going to just close this up again. This is what happens when I talk while I'm working. So I'm just going to go to the end of it. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes that's so loud. Okay, that should be good. Very good. And then I'm just going to tear this. And when you tear, I just want a little bit. When you tear, if you tear forward, you're going to get the, um, I'm going to tear backward. But you'll get, see the difference? So up here, you're going to get kind of the, the, um, back end of it. I don't know how to explain it, but if what when you tear forward, you're getting the top layer and the backward is the bottom layer. So see that? I wanted to get the top layer. Right? So we'll put that right here. And I'm going to use some of my uh, liquid glue. And this paper is pretty and it has um, different shades of the colors so you know you could pick a color you could pick a shade that's lighter on top if you want like I like this one because it's light this has a little dark but that'll pick up the Pacific point of the card base which is nice so that just gives it a little bit of a, a snow pile and let's do our snowman and you could save this for another card right let's do our snowman so we're going to stamp him with black memento ink just on a strip and I stamp the hat separately because it's hard to get everything you know in the right place here for punching it and you'll see what I'm talking about so we'll just stamp him right down here and I'll color him in and I'm using the Stampin' Blends, so I'm using the Dark Pumpkin Pie for his nose. And I did a little bit of, what is this, uh, Dark Smoky Slate. I just wanted to fill in his buttons a little bit, although this is darker than the one I had. The one I did was a little bit lighter, so I don't really need to do it. I think I stamped it. See, he's a little bit lighter, so I just filled it in. And then I did a little bit of the um, Seaside Spray, the light one. And I just wanted to get where this line was and kind of come down the side. So it just gives it kind of like a shadow. I only did the right side, and then I did his little cheeks. He's so cute and happy. Okay, and then we'll punch him out. So you unlock the punch in the back, and that just keeps it so you can punch it, and you can close it, so you can store it, um, taking up less space, which is nice. And I just like to line it up, and I close it a little bit, and then kind of fine-tune it. And I want to make sure there's white around the whole thing, and then I'll just punch it. So I got a nose, I got arms, but I don't want them. So see, you get the two arms, the nose, and the hat. So he's done. I think he's really cute. And now let's do the hat. Um, let me get the hat stamp. And I kind of want to see how I'll feed it in. I like to do that. I guess I'll do it this way. I like to have an idea when I'm going to punch um, which way the uh, image will go in the punch. Because sometimes it's hard to punch things out, but you could always cut around it to make it fit in better. And if you ever have a small piece where you can't fit it in, you could always put a piece of post-it note and kind of make a handle. I do that a lot. So on this one, I'm using dark real red for the berries. So there's like four little berries here, and I'm just kind of dotting it. I'm not coloring it. I'm just really touching it. And I'm using the blunt end. 
And then I'll use shaded spruce again, the blunt end for the leaves. And you could use whatever green and red you have. I think Poppy Parade is a fun color too. For, um, it's kind of bright, it's nice. And then I did the light smoky slate or the dark, dark smoky slate for the brim. Not the brim, the uh, thing that goes around it. Okay, and then I used my light seaside spray for the hat itself. Just to give it a little bit of color so it's not so white. I was going to do a gray and I just figured I was using this light seaside spray for the other parts. So I would use it for the hat as well. Okay, now we want to punch the hat out. And the same thing, we'll just fit it in there. Kind of look around and move it around. Okay, so now we have his hat. And then the arms, I just took a piece, a scrap of, um, what is this? This is soft suede. And I'll just punch them out. All right, so we have all the parts. And let's put him together. And actually, before we do that, let's do our top Merry Christmas. And I'm stamping this in Pacific Point. Just to match everything else. And it's nice because it's photopolymer, so I can get it straight and in the right place and not have to worry about it. Because it is a little, uh, I don't know, not scary, but when you're stamping right on designer series paper, you don't want to mess up. So while we have this out, let's do the inside. So on the inside, I did Hope This Season Built Heartwarming Memories, which is in this uh, snowman season set. And I did some of the snowflakes. So let's get the inside sentiment and the inside layer. And I think this is a, a cute card. It'd be great to send to uh, a family with kids, grandkids, whatever. So we'll put this right here. And then I want to stamp off the snowflakes. So let me get a scrap of paper And we'll just stamp it. And I just want to take a layer off. And actually, I want to do this on the scrap of paper. So it's a little bit lighter than the, um, the sentiment. Let's see if we can fit one in there. Yeah. Okay, so that looks good, and now we can put our card together. I did that with dimensionals, and right here, I put one on each, each part of the snowman, so I will be out making snowmen. I don't think I'll be able to do snow angels, I'm not sure, uh, because I think it's going to be so deep. And I'm worried about my dog. So I have a Boston Terrier who hates the winter. I mean, the dog is laying in front of the wood stove constantly. He shivers. He doesn't like to go outside. I have to, like, really get him outside. And <laughs> he, um, I don't know, he's going to be too, his legs won't be long enough. I'm going to have to shovel the lawn to get him outside. So I'm putting this all the way up at the top of the hat, just so you know, so that the, the hat can fit on his head without the bulk of the dimensional being in the way. So yeah, my Bailey is not going to be happy with this snow. We'll have to see how that all works out. And then I'll put a little bit of liquid glue. My grandkids are going to love it, though. We had a little tiny bit of snow, and my, I got my grandson off the bus, and there was one little patch, and I couldn't get him away from it. He was 
just loving it. So his eyes are going to be popping out of his head tomorrow. He'll be home from school, I'm sure. So isn't he a happy snowman? So cute. So let's put this layer on the card. Isn't that pretty? There's so many pretty papers in this. Um, it's hard to choose which one to go with. Okay. A nice snowy scene. So I'm still doing Christmas cards here. I know the new catalog is coming out, um, but I'm not done with Christmas yet. So I'll be sprinkling some of the uh, new product here and there, and then probably next week I'll show more of it. This week I'm still on Christmas. So the last step is to put some of these snowflake. I was trying to figure out whether to put some gems on or something like that, and then I thought, well, I have these pretty snowflakes. They're iridescent, and um, let me get my tool here. So I just put them here and there. Some of them are like kind of a pinkish color, and then some of them are kind of greeny blue, but when they go on, they just sparkle. So we'll just put a bunch of these on here and there. They just add some uh, extra shine and it's cute. All right, where else do we need them? Sometimes you can go a little overboard with things like this. But I guess there's never too many snowflakes on a card like this, right? So, maybe we'll do one more. I'd like to do one kind of on the tree here. Okay. You could add as many or as few as you want. But I think they're really cute. And um, it's a fun card to make. And again, if you want this stamp set, I mean, it really is beautiful. If you look on my blog and look, uh, do a search on Life is Beautiful, you'll see all the different cards I made with it. It will be retiring, so you need to get it before the end of the year. Um, but thanks for joining me, and um, I hope you give this a try. You take care. Bye.